Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to uh, Big Bear, California. I uh, want to show you my Jeep, do a little walk around my 2016 Wrangler Rubicon. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is, uh, like I said, 2016 Wrangler Rubicon, and it's the Hard Rock Edition. So you got steel bumpers on the front and the rear. These rock rails, this gas filler is different than the standard factory one. It comes with a nine speaker Alpine stereo with a woofer in the back that's uh, all weather. The red is part of the Hard Rock on the Rubicon and then the hood has this scoop on it and then the red badge trail rated and there's some other things on the hard rock and it'll probably come to me in a few minutes but those are the main things with the hard rock edition now standard for all the rubicons is the sway bar disconnect and the axle lock for the front and rear differential now what's aftermarket on the outside so let's start on the top and we'll come down. Those are Rhino racks on the top. Then they're BF Goodrich 35 inch all terrain tires and Pro Comp alloy wheels. And they're 17 inch wheels. On the front we have a Smitty X20 winch with synthetic rope and I found this online I don't remember who makes this but kind of nifty but you can still use the winch with your front license plate California requires that you have a front license plate these hooks were standard with the hard rock and this is a KC 10 inch flex light and it puts out a lot of light I mean, it's really impressive the kind of light that those little uh, bulbs can put out pretty crazy so in the front bumper is the factory bumper though this stinger at least that's what I call it uh, that's aftermarket then on the rear is an AEV tire carrier When I bought the Jeep, it also had a gas caddy on here. And the gas caddy hooked onto this bar and it blocked even more of your visibility looking out that back window. And when I first got it, it did not have a backup camera, which I installed. You can see the camera and also installed a little LED light right here. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, and I put those D-rings on there. And there are Bilstein gas shocks. And there's an AEV 3-inch lift. ARB front and rear diff covers. And then there's a lot of skid plates. Actually, I just had put on. And... Uh, skid plates for the transmission, for the transfer case, for the catalytic converter, for the uh, oil pan, for the gas tank. So the whole undercarriage is pretty much protected. So the control arms up front, they have uh, skid plates on them. And then you have skid plates going all the way back for virtually everything oil pan, transfer case, transmission, gas tank, canisters, evac canisters. So pretty well protected back here. You can tell they still look really good because I just got them so they haven't gotten scraped up yet. But they will. Hopefully you can see that okay. And with the uh, skid plates, just in terms of the name brand, so it's a Courier flat lower control arm. 
their rock hard brand oil pan transmission dual catalytic converter transfer case evap canister fuel tank all skid plates now inside not much uh, aftermarket stuff actually wild boar hand grips the stitching and the leather seats is part of the hard rock uh, package as well and this hand hold right here is uh, by bar track now there is a mesh up here that has basically has bungee cords that uh, you connected at you know various different points I don't know who made that I didn't buy it but I really like it it kind of softens it in here and uh, I think it makes it look a lot better not much uh, back here that's not factory um, I did add this uh, badass moto gear fire extinguisher holder it's worked out well so far and this is what I was talking about with the structure behind the rhino rack all this is to support the load of the rack that's on the roof and I mentioned before after I bought the Jeep because you couldn't see out of this back at all I got a brand motion camera and brand motion LED light because there was no uh, brake light in the back and I'm really happy with it it um, you know it did take me a good part of a day to get it installed and the most difficult part about it was uh, you know basically removing most of this dash and just your fear that you're gonna break a tab or mess something up and it won't go back together and um, I actually used brand motion for the most of the wiring but then I found another company that I could use a connect that connected to my cigarette lighter and I wouldn't have to do any wiring myself any soldering or anything like that any splicing or anything so I bought that it was like 30 something dollars and instead of using brand motions way of connecting it up so basically came with the camera and the wiring and then something that you hooked up to your computer in order for it to because you already have the display and then all it did was uh, load software to your display so it would accept and your backup camera would work now that down there is my cherry pie for when I'm done I just wanted to show you what the uh, rear camera looks like So it's got the grid lines, if you can see those. I know it's really bright in here. Okay, the engine is factory. It's a V6 uh, Pinstar. They've been putting these engines in Wranglers for a long time. So I think it's a pretty reliable engine, but I've not done anything to it aftermarket-wise in terms of turbo or anything else like that. And this rocker panel right here, uh, one, goes to the lights that are on the the KC lights that are on the front bumper and the other three aren't hooked up to anything thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed uh, the little tour of uh, my Wrangler I've really enjoyed this Wrangler I've, I've got an old CJ7 that I've had for 30 something years but uh, I've really liked this Hard Rock Edition Wrangler so far uh, please subscribe it doesn't cost anything and click on the bell icon so you'll get a notice every time a new episode comes out so uh, I showed you before my cherry pie so uh, I'm gonna enjoy that and just enjoy Big Bear it is amazing out here you really can't beat it so thank you very much I appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye bye